Greetings everyone, I'm Andy Epics here and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Let me just, uh... Get this back around to the... Morning side. And today we are launching... The largest configuration of Atlas V to fly. Yes, we are launching an Atlas V, five, 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 one. And throttling up. Ignition. And liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying Mios 5, the fifth mobile user objective system mission for the United States Air Force. Mios significantly enhances communications capabilities for our nation's leaders and warfighters. That's right, today we are launching the fifth, yes, that, you heard me right, fifth mobile user objective system satellite. This is the on-orbit spare that the MUOS system has. That uh, will be used to communicate not really sure actually if this is an on-orbit spare or if it's a uh, functional satellite. Now we're aiming for a 70 kilometer uh, parking orbit. gotten us to um, them having gotten us to almost half a kilometer per second then at around 38 kilometers altitude we're going to ditch the fairing having throttled back the uh, RD 180 main engine to 70% or 60% thrust. Sorry about that. I had uh, I had a final today, so my mind's not quite on Kerbal mode. But uh, at around T plus three minutes, I'm not really sure what the flight event when this event takes place. Uh, we'll jettison. The first stage will separate, and then eight seconds later, the Centaur engine will ignite. This is an Atl this is an RL10C1 engine, even though here it's an RL10A4. Well, would you look at that, jewels right on the horizon.
the plan for this high pitch angle is to increase the time to apoapsis. And it's back up. So we're going to reset. We're going to set the climb angle to 10 degrees. Now we're trying for a 70 kilometer apoapsis. Now we seemed to have entered a pretty stable orbit, or at least a orbit. This is the MUOS uh, payload. It's got its two antenna, one dish there, one dish on the top. Now we're aiming for a geostationary transfer orbit, so we're going to end up at the altitude of between Utilsat and the two GSSAP payloads. There's Minmus and all of its deliciously green and minty yeah, stuff. Now we're trying to do the insertion burn. Now in this real launches series, just because it's not a career save, I'm going to be cheaty. And now that we're above uh, 70 kilometers, not really sure where I'm trying to go.
going to try and circularize at 80. That way all of our uh, parking orbit aligns. Yeah, we need to uh, after three minutes, we're going to aim for the transfer burn. After the transfer burn, ULA's part of the mission, I believe, will be concluded. After the Atlas transfers. Now, the real mission will include an inclination change. I just didn't feel like building a, putting a launch site up at high alt, higher uh, latitudes. There will be a long, the three centaur burn. It will use three centaur burns, this mission. The mission will use three uh, centaur main engine burns. Now, the RL-10, I'm not really sure how many ignitions it has. But we're approaching the end of the burn. So now that Muos has been to geostationary, 
Once that's done, the centaur will begin a slow spin. Yeah, I said slow. And separate the payload. Now we're going to circularize at an altitude of 2863. Now because this is Kerbal and we don't have some massive batteries attached, I'm going to deploy a solar panel. Now we're going to remove the fine control uh, constraints on our payload so that we can work our way out to its geosynchronous altitude. front view of the payload. I like that. Um, it's a nice view. And we're going to use the small injection engine on board the payload in order to uh, inject ourselves into the geostationary orbit. We're most of the way there. Right along the uh, day night terminator of Kerbin. And we're aiming for a precise uh, geo. 
Well, not super precise, but just precise geostat orbit. But anyways, I'm Andy Epics for... You've just watched the launch of Mio's 5 in the Real Launches series.